Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Vibing of the Dark underscore with Mo. And if you're new to my channel, how about hit that subscribe button? And if you're a returning subscriber, how about send it to a family or a friend so they can vibe out with us? And please, 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 please make sure you like this video. That helps out a lot. And thanks in advance. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be talking about Tasha K and Cardi B and his never ending saga. I don't think Cardi B, I meant Tasha K is going to ever pay Cardi B. But the antagonizing is what she's going to always do because she definitely does that with Cardi B. Now, this video might be a little lengthy because I got a lot of videos to show y'all and I got to read a lot of things that been going on and that was said between the two women. So, what started these two women a feud is when Cardi B came out on this video right here. You can go back to my other two videos from this one. And it shows y'all how she was speaking on the stepson and how she was feeling like how he should grieve. And Tasha K went and commented up under that post and she said this. Wasn't she posting guns right after takeoff died? And on the internet cutting up not long after the sudden takeoff? I'm just asking everyone grieves different. And she know once she mentioned takeoff, that was really going to set Cardi off. So then Cardi retweeted and she said, And Tasha K with your despicable A. To bring up takeoff to prove a fake A point is disgusting. I lost weight. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. Me and my man still dealing with that to this day. I'm a rapper. We target it all the time. So of course I have guns for protection. But since you want to be funny for the comments, I'm going to make sure your kid don't go to college. You think my lawyers don't know you hiding money in Africa? I'm going to make sure I get every red cent of my $4 million. Don't ever put takeoff name in your mouth. So not only did she post this, she went live. And then I'm going to let y'all listen to what she had to say. Bitch, you're embezzling. Embezzle. You have been embezzling. you got to go to jail. So what was that judge name? The judge from the mother from the lawsuit. I forgot his name. His name started with the W. He said, "If you hide any money, you're gonna get in trouble by the court. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. Yeah, you're going to jail." Am I still on? want to talk about them talking about that i was talking about her kids no i'm talking about nobody my kids y'all love to twist the big words no but y'all do that shit to be uh, for y'all own convenience though i was talking about her kids i was saying yo you're not even gonna be able to put your kids through college you're not gonna be able to put your kids through college around look at the shit that you have you have caused yourself with your mother You have to move out your house. And by the way, I'm about to take your house. So if you want to take off, now I'm about to take house. And I don't even do this shit, but I'm high up the mother anesthesia. <laughs> I was under anesthesia for six hours, so I got a lot of shit to say. Everybody want to flip it. Oh, Cardi don't like talking when people talk about her kids. I was talking about her kids. I said, keep playing around. You ain't going to be able to push your kids through college. You ain't going to be able to do shit. I'm going easy on you. I'm going easy on you. Oh, my mom, I'm going easy on you. I know where you have your money. You don't think I know how much money that law firm pay you so, so you can advertise this shit? I know everything. And I be going easy on you. You want to watch this? I don't need that four million. But you know who need that four million? Four million? They're homeless. Mothers with addictions. They're trying to try me. And you talking about long lived. I don't give a. You don't give a. You, was, you out here trying to calm your shit. Trying to, trying to be funny. Oh, people grieve. Shut the fuck you fuck too big.
Okay, you guys, so after she made that video, people had gave her a lot of backlash saying, like, but you don't like people talking about your kids and things like that. So she said, y'all saying, I'm talking about people's kids. I'm talking about how her mouth is going to affect financial for years, all because she can't stop talking. But I'm wrong for saying that. But it's cool for her to bring up my family we lost less than a year ago. Y'all saw me waving a gun after take pass or literally months later on put it on the floor music video. But let's let me guess, I'm wrong as always. So y'all know Tasha K knows just what to do to ruffle Cardi B feathers. Like she really get up under Cardi B's skin for real. And you think Tasha K cares? Nope. Because the next day she went right on her platform and she posted this sarcastic apology that everybody was talking about. So it says, I want to send a sincere apology out to Barty Gang. It's my fault as to why y'all don't have a second album. She's been in court with me for six years, distracted from her purpose. Now going on seven, Atlantic is broke and won't help pay for a second album. Offset is in court fighting to release an album, and my sister-in-law sold her rights to her catalog off too early in her career. Now there is no money to produce the album. She is constantly taking care taking car insurance ads to keep the lights on and pay lawyers to continue to chase me down for money i don't have i'm so sorry for distracting y'all queen between me and the surgeons we owe y'all a huge apology atlantic refuses to give her any more money to produce a second album because they took such a loss on her first album that she's now starting to promote six years later again i'm so sorry it's all my fault but if you want music, real consistent music, please stream Body World this Friday. Ice Spice is from where she is from and can give y'all the music y'all need instead of her giving y'all Tasha K album. So y'all, when I woke up and I was on the way to work, I was seeing the apology and me thinking, okay, she finally, like, somebody done told her better. She finally done calmed down. And, y'all, when I started reading, I just bust out laughing. Like, Tasha K just don't stop. Like, it's stupid and funny at the same time. Like, I get mad for Cardi how Tasha K does her. She's like a real-life bully that just don't stop. Like, so I know how angry it makes Cardi. I know Cardi want to do some things to her, but she just can't. And I feel like she should just kill her with silence. Because every time Cardi reply, that's when Tasha going to come harder. And harder and harder. So, after all that, Cardi didn't respond. But now today, like, this was a couple of days ago. I'm I'm behind on, like, these stories. But that was a couple of days ago. But now, as of today, Tasha K brought out this story of Offset cheating on Cardi B. And she posts, like, screenshots of the phone number as proof. And she had the girl post, like... Her recording, like, pieces of of their house, and it was messing around in culture bed and all kind of stuff. Like, this is really, really dirty. She really played a dirty game. It don't make sense. But I'm going to show y'all that stuff. And honestly, I think she been had this. Because if y'all follow Tasha K, she been was saying that she had, like, hardcore proof that Offset was still cheating. But she didn't want to talk about it. She didn't bring it out because she was in the lawsuit. So I think now she just bringing it out. So I think it's pretty much old or whatever with this particular girl. I'm not saying Offset is not cheating. He had before, so he probably could still be his. I don't know. But the fact that she's bringing it out now, I mean, I think it's really old. And I think it's a clout chaser. Move for the girl to even record all this stuff for Tasha K2 put out. I mean, I ain't feeling that at all. But Offset is the one that's definitely wrong for doing it. But... Tasha, to me, just goes a, l a bit too far. But I'm going to show y'all that stuff. So, these are some of the things that Tasha K had posted. And she deleted with, after 30 minutes because she said that Cardi B was paying Balogas to take the stuff down. But, like I said, I guess the girl was talking to Tasha K. So, it said, he always had me wait till she leave. I have to find other videos, I guess she was trying to say, of when of she took when they was inside the home in the studio. For some reason, he would like her to, like, walk right past me. Many times, he would have me sit in the car or sit somewhere and wait till she left. But in the beginning, before he knew her, those were the best times. 
Then she also sent her like a message of their text thread, a screenshot of it. And they said, wait, I'm going to sneak you in. Give me two minutes. Go back by the truck. And she said, walk or park. He said, park by the truck. Then I'm going to open the gate. LOL. She said. Somewhere in my old phone where as I'm pulling up, she, Cardi's leaving. Her license plates say Berkeley's and it's like a black SUV. On their studio over at Vineland and it's over on Vineland in North Hollywood. I got videos in there too as well. But Offset used to always take my phone whenever I went in. And whenever we were together, he would take my phone to make sure I didn't record us together or something. And he and I were together before him and Cardi. And then after. So here are some of the videos that she posted supposedly in their house or whatever, showing off the bed and everything like that. I just feel like these cloud chaser side chicks always want to have proof i guess to always tell because if you really want to be a, a real side chick why would you like try to get them in trouble i don't know they just be wanting the money i guess and then here more texas where the person said is this in her home studio she said yep they said which house atl and she was like his i thought more then she was like that right there is the studio of ben Lynn. In culture's bed, shaking my head, Los Angeles. This sound like it's just a whole setup was waiting to happen. Like they planned to have set off set up, which he fell for the bait. Like, cause he shouldn't be out here cheating like that anyway. But he's a rapper. It's expected out of those those men. But it just really sound like a setup. Cause why you shaking your head? You know when you was in it, that was supposed to be culture's bed, and you still did it. You still went. So what? So then after Tasha K posted all the receipts, she was like, this would be deleted in 30 minutes. Y'all, Offset and Cardi calling blogs threatening legal action for the videos I posted. Me and the blog verified the number he called from it and ma it matches this one from the woman that alleges they have been together since before him and Cardi up until recently. His wife needs to leave them, meet the F alone. I haven't said her name on a video in two years talking about I'm hiding money and her husband hiding women, allegedly now tasha k she said she ain't been saying her name in two years no she wasn't saying her name she calls her my sister-in-law so if you watch her video she always still talk about cardi b so when she said my sister-in-law she's talking about cardi b but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below i do comment back y'all let me know if y'all think tasha k is going too far y'all let me know if cardi b deserves this Y'all let me know, do y'all think that Cardi B will ever get her $4 million from Tasha K? Or do y'all think it's going to be another lawsuit since Tasha K keep antagonizing her? But that's all for the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.